Welcome back to Atlanta & Company. I'm Kara Kinnear. So you want to clean up your diet, but still enjoy all those delicious things that we love to eat in our lives. Well, we're here to help. Please help me welcome Chef Joe from Muchacho. Hi, Chef. Hey, how are you? I'm good. <clears throat> I'm happy that you're here. I could ask you a ton of questions because mm -hmm. this is very interesting to me. But let's start with like clean eating 2024. Yeah. Lots of people have New Year's resolutions. So let's talk about easy swaps we can make that will clean up our diets. Sure, yeah, yeah. As you're kind of like cleaning out the fridge and the cabinet yes. in the new year, then, um, you know, a, a good obvious one is going from butter to olive oil in certain, for, okay. when, especially when you're sauteing or roasting or things like that. Not, I wouldn't say in baking you could do that, but sure. certainly when you're, uh, when you're sauteing veggies or, you know, searing a piece of chicken or something like that, you could move away from butter and go into an olive oil. Okay. <clears throat> um, is there a particular kind of olive oil or just like any kind of, I'm always like extra, extra virgin, yeah. extra virgin. I don't know. Which one should I get? I mean, I like to keep a blended. So like an 80-20 blend okay. or like a pomace oil, which is a, a second run on okay. an olive oil that okay. is not as intense for cooking and sauteing. And then an extra virgin for vinaigrettes and like finishing dishes and things like that. So. Okay, excellent. Good tips. Okay, so let's talk common misconceptions mm -hmm. about food that's bad for us. Like, you know, it's, it seems that when everybody is entering a craze, like all carbs are bad, yeah. rice is bad, are they? And make me feel better about eating those things. <laughs> not all carbs are bad. <laughs> okay. So. okay. There's, we'll start with that. But uh, so, uh, barring an allergy, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, carbs are not bad. And, and, and the more whole grain carbs you can you can consume, the better. The more things are processed, like, that's where the rice misconception comes in. When you get super processed rice, it is not as good for you. Sure. Nutrients are depleted, things like that. You can get whole grains with the bran attached, brown rice, things like that. Those are going to be better for you. So. Okay, so look for whole grains yeah. and rice. Okay, that's good. And I've also heard that like if you have the extra time to make the rice, making it on the stovetop is better than heating it up like in a bag of rice. It is. Yeah, the boil okay. in a bag are all are, are well convenient, right? Sure. They're also a yes. convert. They're converted and they make things faster. So faster. they've been cooked once and then dried again. Uh. Um, I always recommend investing in a good rice cooker. The rice cooker, okay. The tabletop, the stovetop, or the oven is good. It takes a little technique, but if you can kind of hit the button and walk away, yes. that's usually the move. So. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Good. Yes, I love that. Okay, let's talk about what we're making today. Sure. Chef. Yeah. So this is a uh, cauliflower al pastor taco. Okay. That we do at Muchacho. Nice. Um, and this is kind of a, a riff on a, uh, a traditional al pastor is done with pork. Um, so this is previously roasted cauliflower that we do a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. And we warm it up in a pan and we hit it with a little bit of this adobo sauce, okay. which is a puree of chilies and vinegar and garlic and onions. Oh, it's kind of really like good. sort of bold, like vibrant sort of flavor to it. And we just kind of get the cauliflower coated in that. Okay, I love that. Talk about what you did to the cauliflower a little bit more in detail mm -hmm. before we put it in the pan so we can do this yeah, at home. Yeah, so the cauliflower was previously just tossed in a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and some paprika. And then we oh. just roast it real hard, like 450 for about five minutes, just oh. to get some color on it and to break it down a little bit. Okay. And then to finish the cooking in the sauce. Okay, so. and salt, pepper, I love it when chefs are here and they use ingredients that I have in my pantry, because I'm sure that a lot of people also have salt, pepper, paprika, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. And then the adobo sauce, you can obviously buy that. Um, you can buy, yeah. Um, yeah, no, no, go ahead. So go there's ahead. a there's a little can, usually at most grocery stores, it's chipotle and adobo. Yes. And it's they're roasted, smoked, well, chipotle peppers, sure. smoked jalapenos, yeah. in, a, in a chili sauce. It's pretty spicy, so you want to like maybe hit it with some olive oil or dilute it with some water, but that's essentially what this is, okay. but we make it homemade. Sure, of so, course you yeah. do. Of course, everything's homemade on the Okay, so we're <laughs> coating the cauliflower, yep. and then next step. Yeah, once the cauliflower is hot, because it's already been cooked once, it's pretty tender, we're just going to go right into our shell okay. right here. And kinda oh, nice. See how we plate it up. Oh, this is so easy. Yeah. And these are homemade corn tortillas that we do at the restaurant, but you know, there's plenty of good brands out there, or flour if that's your preference. Now, we also serve flour. There so. is a big flour corn tortilla debate. Do mm -hmm. you only eat one over another or no? I am partial to corn. Okay. Uh, but in some some preparations, like with a fried fish taco, I kind of prefer a flour because mm. it just holds up a little bit better. It holds up a little yeah. bit. Um, now, I'm going to tell you this, Chef. I always order the corn because I think it makes me sound fancier and more like I know what I'm doing right. and authentic, yes. <laughs> but I really do sort of prefer, prefer the flour. Maybe that's because it does hold like the ingredients and I do like a fish taco, so maybe that's yeah. why. Yeah, there you go. So okay. it's pretty easy. We top it with some chopped pineapple, cilantro, and onion, and that's the deal. That's okay, the let me ask you this because I didn't ask you at the top, my mm -hmm. fault. Just go over the ingredients real quick so in case people are yep. wanting to recreate this dish at home, they have a list of the ingredients. Yeah, maybe so we, we, had the, uh, we had the roasted cauliflower, okay. right? That's been done ahead of time with salt, pepper, oil, and a little paprika. Uh, then we have the adobo sauce, which you can buy the can and puree it. Sure. Um, or you can make it your own with dried chilies and we can talk about that later. Yes, <laughs> so yes, yes. Then we have just some chopped pineapple, 
the riper the better is raw. Nothing's okay. been done to it. Excellent. Uh, and this is chopped onion and cilantro mixed together. So okay. It's All right, a little wedge of lime and you're good. I'm so. going to try this as we go into break because everyone knows I cannot eat on camera. I make a mess of it, but this smells and looks delicious. Thank you so much. Tell people where they can find you. Uh, we are at Muchacho 904 Memorial Drive in Atlanta. Okay. You know, yeah, all right. All Chef Joe, full of knowledge. Thank you for getting us on the right path for 2024. You've been